We recently had the privilege of spending time with friends of ours on a game farm. We had a lovely day out there. You can see how dry it is since the latter part of 2014. We didn't have much rain in South Africa. It's very dry. There's a nice shot of the farmhouse and the surrounding hills. Quite a beautiful, that was about 50 meters up. I didn't color grade these uh, shots so you get a good idea of the true color of, the, of nature. The shot coming up, uh, the drone aimed to land on the patch of lawn just next to the, next to the pool. As it came down, the gust of wind just below roof level, it just blown it right into the pool. Notice the, the trees in the top right corner, how the wind is blowing it. And there immediately you see the gust of wind pushing it back and I couldn't respond fast enough to, to save it. We lost it. idea was to take the drone with us on the game drive and put it up and uh, I'm sure we would have had lovely video from the air. Nonetheless, we pushed on without it. It's my wife and two of our daughters. Such a privilege to spend time with family and be close to nature. It's a water pipe that uh, sprung a leak a little busy repairing it uh, while we drive. You see a lot of security and electric fencing. Probably heard these um, farms are under attack. Farmers are murdered almost every weekend. We hear it on the news all the time, so security is quite a priority on all farms in South Africa. It's interesting how these children that grow up on a farm just develop differently compared to children growing up in a city. The energy level and just their, their knowledge and how, how helpful they are in getting things done around the farm. Unbeknown to them, they pick up quite a lot of skills and it's just unbelievable how these kids develop into stars. At a very young age, there's the farmhouse. Some red artabias taking a rest. It's the end of winter, so within the next two months, when the first summer rain comes, the, the grass will look much better. That guy was too fast, we couldn't even see what it was. There's a lot of water on the farm. The boreholes pump water up to the reservoirs on the hills and they, the reservoirs keep these water troughs full all the time. looks like a very nice picnic spot. It's actually very quiet here. You switch off the vehicle's engine. You just hear the birds and peace and quiet. There's an eland, eland right up on the hill. It was too far away. We could only manage to see it with the binoculars. As we came down this hill, we saw a couple of zebra and three giraffe close to the road. It's so beautiful. Lovely sight. 
on the back of the bucky is not the smoothest ride so it wasn't easy taking video on the back of the bucky you can see the shake to be it. In about two, two to three months all this felt will be green. I'll come back with a with a drone and put it up and take some really nice footage. See it's a lonely blue willow beast. This was quite a rocky ride down this hill. little star again. with a video here <laughs> looks quite funny well thanks for watching guys and girls see you soon <laughs>